Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you a version of Country Roads. This song is one of those country songs that you can play to someone who uh, has never heard country music, who doesn't know what it is, uh, but they're going to recognise this and they're going to like it. So it's a very useful kind of song, written around 1971, written by a songwriting pair Bill Danoff and Taftin Avert, and they took this to John Denver who loved it and uh, finished it off for them and uh, he had a big hit with it that year. It's also been recorded by Olivia Newton-John, Ray Charles and um, surprisingly the Hermes House Band which is a Dutch pop band who uh, if you look on uh, YouTube have a, a big hit with that. Uh, so I'm going to show you the intro, verse, chorus, um, what you might do with a the solo. There's a few bits in this tune which on the original you're probably not going to do but I'm going to show you them anyway and that includes the intro. So I've played this a lot of times with a lot of people and no one has ever done the actual intro but what happens is we have um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> and the intro line, that one I've just played, goes across the bar line and into the beginning of the verse which is very confusing and that's why I wouldn't recommend that you actually learn that unless you're in a John Denver tribute band, in which case you're going to play everything absolutely perfectly. So uh, what I would probably do is um, just do maybe a shuffle. Something like that. Or you could do what the guitar is doing, something like... This has got a strong enough melody that you could actually carry it as a fiddle tune, just about. So that's what I'm going to play you first. Um, the melody as it's sung, more or less. you've probably noticed it has an odd uh, extra bar in the middle which kind of makes sense when you hear the original but almost no one is going to do that so uh, watch out for that extra bar not being there um, and you're going to want to ornament that melody quite a lot so lots of open string drones E drone A drone E drone under the A. And a nice slide on that drone. So let's just do that, but with that ornamentation. into the chorus and uh, if you're doing this as a fiddle tune then definitely I would do it uh, one of those punch in uh, type intros to the chorus and nice slide on the C from C, C natural to C sharp E drone over the uh, B note and here I would do an F sharp under the A Maybe slide it up. 
A drawn under the D. And either an E drawn above or below. And the chorus uh, benefits very much from putting a shuffle in there. So they, there's a whole lot of holes in the melody. So um, there's a space, another space, space. And all those can be sh filled by shuffles. And the shuffle I would use is the Georgia shuffle. And I do have a video all about the Georgia shuffle. So we're going to do... So I'm just finding uh, notes above or below the um, melody notes, and I'm doing do da 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 da. So the accents are all on the down, and I'm alternating that with three slurs up. And I'm just doing a fragment of the melody, and then that little bit of shuffle, and that helps to drive it forward. And if you're playing with a singer, then this would definitely work nicely. And the fact that you are playing that bit of melody really doesn't matter. So I'll take it from uh, the chorus. <laughs> So then we've got uh, another verse and another chorus and then we've got the bridge and um, this is where it goes uh, to the minor. So we've got um, one, two, three, four, one. It sounds a bit odd without the chords, and in fact the chords themselves sound a bit odd. Um, on the third line, you're going from an F sharp minor to a G to a D. And if there's one chord that the guitarist will not be expecting, if he's not done it before, it's that G. And it sounds slightly exotic in that context, um, but it's not really difficult to follow. So let me take you through the bridge. do, not John Denver, but um, several of the other versions, they change key at that point um, when it goes back to the chorus. <coughs> and if you're doing it in G, up to A. So if you're playing this in the key of A, that would take you up to B, which is not necessarily very comfortable, but if you start off in G, then that change to A is really quite nice. Uh, if you're going to play a solo on this, as I'll do in a minute, then the way to do it is mostly to follow the A major blue scale. So... So it's the A major pentatonic with the addition of the flattened third. And that is going to work through most of the sequence. So I'll take it from the bridge 
uh, and we'll go to uh, solo and to the end. <laughs> this useful if you would like a copy of the dots then do subscribe and send me an email and be, I'll be happy to send that to you and I've got lots of other videos which will help with all of the different details of how to ornament this tune such as the Georgia Shuffle, the Nashville Shuffle, the Scale of Six and all the other uh, stuff that goes with country tunes. So see you again soon. <laughs>